Hi guys, so I've had a lot of requests for Turkish Delight, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to make today. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment below. Thanks. Okay, to make our Turkish Delight, we need to make a sugar syrup. So sugar syrup is water, sugar and lemon juice. So I'm going to put that in this pot here and bring it up to the boil. So for that, I need three cups of sugar. And one and a half cups of water. And two teaspoons of lemon juice. Now the lemon juice is so it doesn't crystallize. I'm going to switch that on. Give it a stir. bring that up to the boil. While my sugar syrup is boiling, I'm going to get onto the paste. So for the paste, all I need is one cup of cornstarch, which is corn flour, and three cups of water. And one teaspoon of cream of tartar. I'm going to mix up the lumps and cook it to a thick paste. So if you look at my corn flour mixture, it looks like a glue. It's really gloopy, it's sticky, and that's what we want. So just stir it now and then because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. And all it's doing is cooking up the taste of the flour now. So we want to cook it through until our sugar syrup boils and then we can add it. If it's your first time making Turkish Delight, I suggest make the sugar syrup first, put it aside, and then get onto this. But because I've made it several times, I'm doing it at the same time. Okay, so the sugar syrup has boiled, so I'm gonna check the temperature. We want it between 115 and 118 on our pocket thermometer. So in the olden days, I know that they didn't have pocket thermometers, so I wanna show you how you can test it, that it's a soft boil. So here, it's just passed, so I wanna switch it off. Now, what they used to do is get a cold glass of water and just pour like a drop of the syrup in there. And when the syrup comes together like this, you know it's done. So that is a soft boil syrup, okay? So if you don't have a pocket thermometer, don't worry about it. You can test it like that and it works. So I'm just gonna bring back this one. Our corn flour mixture and what I'm going to do I'm just going to add syrup bit by bit and mix it through now this requires muscle because you're going to be mixing for a while here and I've made lots of batches and I've also worked out you could use a mixer during this process I know it's a bit of a cheat but you know what when I made so many batches I had sore arms I'm going to just show you how you can do it with a spoon. So I'm going to keep mixing, pouring and stirring it through until I use up all of my sugar syrup. Now I'm just adding the rest of my syrup. It's all finished now. And once I mix this through, it's going to take 45 minutes to completely come together. And I'm going to show you in between how it changes. It changes color, it changes texture, and it starts looking like a Turkish delight. It's really sticky, really yummy. So I'm going to put the timer on now and put it for 45 minutes. Keep stirring now and then because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. So this has been 15 minutes on the stove top and it's changed from a translucent white to a pale yellow and it's quite sticky, it's sticking to the bottom like that as you can see 
and occasionally I just stir it so it doesn't burn to the bottom and I'm just going to cook it through for another 30 minutes now okay so it's been cooking for 30 minutes all up now so it has come like more into a ball it's a dark yellow and it's more sticky um, don't be tempted to take it off now because it's still not ready it needs the 45 minutes so keep cooking it through for another 15 now you can add nuts to this at the end so I have added pistachios and walnuts but you just need to roast them a little bit first before you add them so with pistachios, when I added my pistachios, I actually put food colouring green in it. Uh, when I did walnuts, I put a pink food colouring in it. But today, I'm going to put a pink food colouring in this and leave it plain. No nuts. But I'm also going to put roast cordial in it, which is a roast syrup. You can use vanilla, you can use rose water. But I'm going to use the daffilum. This is from Cypress. So I used to drink this with milk as a kid. This is really nice. So it gives it a nice color and it gives it a beautiful flavor as well. But I'm also going to put a bit of pink food coloring to make it look beautiful. Okay, it's 45 minutes and that's the consistency we want. So it's formed into a ball. It's darker. It's really hard to stir now. It's got a really nice sticky consistency. One teaspoon of rose syrup, which is beautiful. I can smell it. it. Smells like roses. And a little bit of pink food coloring, just to make the color look really nice. I'm gonna stir that in and cook it through. And then I'm ready to pour in my pan. Now my pan's been pre-lined and I've also oiled it so this does not get stuck to the baking paper. Beautiful colour. So I'm ready to pour in my baking tray. I'm just going to spray it just so it's easy to take out the Turkish light. Gonna squish it in. That looks beautiful. So I'm gonna let that cool down for about four or five hours and then we're gonna cut it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix the icing sugar and the corn flour in here. So it's one cup of icing sugar, half a cup of corn flour. Mix that through and that's what we're going to coat the Turkish Delight with. So what I'm going to do is put my paper down, dust the paper with some corn flour. There's the Turkish Delight, it's cooled down. So I'm gonna flip that onto the icing sugar now. And it's a beautiful little tray I've got here. And that is thanks to my uncle Fifi. So thank you Fifi if you're watching. I am using the tray you got me. So I'm gonna flip down like that. And I'm gonna cut it with a very sharp knife into squares. So the story behind Turkish Delight is this. So it was invented in Istanbul in Turkey and it was called Lukum. And that's what us Cypriots in Cyprus call Turkish Delight, Lukum still. And an English person was visiting Istanbul, took Turkish Delight, sorry, took Lukum back to England and he called it Turkish Delight and it got stuck all over the world, Turkish Delight. 
these are delights, really nice. So it's nice and soft and gooey and sticky and yummy. So all I'm gonna do now is put it through my powder sugar and then it's ready to go. So after I've coated them, what I like to do is put some of the mixture through a sifter and just coat them like that before I serve them. So I'm going to put them on a serving tray now. I'm going to add some of my pistachio ones I made earlier. So that's green with pistachio. So I just changed the food colouring in there. So there you have it, Turkish delight. Gobgaste!